Welcome to this instructional video on nitrous oxide monitoring utilizing personal monitoring badges. Nitrous oxide is an analgesic agent used primarily in the operating room and obstetrical departments to reduce the pain threshold. Typically the agent is delivered through an anesthetic machine or nitrox type device. Annual monitoring of nitrous oxide levels in these areas as well as the recovery room is a requirement to ensure nitrous is being delivered safely. This presentation details the process involved in sampling nitrous oxide levels in both the operating room, recovery room, and the obstetrical suites utilizing personal monitoring badges. The video contains instructions on receiving the badges, distributing them to the proper areas, how to monitor, and shipping badges back for analysis. Badges are sent directly to the unit manager within each of the hospitals. In a hospital where the manager has responsibility for more than one monitored area, the manager will receive the badges for all areas. The package contains the memo for the unit manager and the individual badges with instructions. The memo details how many badges were sent as well as what areas they are designated for. The memo also gives high-level instructions for the testing and shipping process. Detailed instructions are included with each badge. This video shows one complete package. Within this package, there is one personal monitoring badge. Each badge within the package has a room number assigned. Ideal sample times in the operating room and recovery room is 8 hours. For the obstetrical suites, it's 30 minutes. It's important not to sample the same room twice. Once staff have completed sampling, the badge is sealed as per the instructions and sent to the testing agency for analysis. It's important to note that badges must be returned to the testing agency as soon as possible after testing, so it is recommended testing only be completed between Monday and Wednesday so as to not incur weekend delays. For convenience sake, it is recommended that sampling occur on a day when all rooms are being utilized. Therefore, all badges can be returned at the same time. Once you, as the manager, have read the memo, keep the memo and distribute the badges with the instruction sheets to the appropriate staff. Staff members assigned the task of completing the testing will receive a badge with instructions. Remove the instructions from the white sealed badge pouch. Carefully read over all the instructions prior to opening the badge. Once you have read the instructions, sign the instruction form and write in the badge number and date of use. The badge should be worn for 8 hours in the operating room and recovery rooms and for 30 minutes in the obstetrical suite. Remove the badge from the white lock seal pouch and the clear plastic bag. Save the white lock seal pouch, clear plastic bag, and the aluminum foil sticker for use during returning of the badge. Record the date, start time, and employee name on the white lock seal pouch and on the spaces indicated on this form. Also remember to fill out the hospital name, department, and room number on this form. If monitoring is to take place in the obstetrical suites, please document the unique device identifier tag on the form in the space provided. Clip the badge to the collar of a uniform or lab coat near the breathing zone. 
the white absorbent material of the badge facing outward. Continue wearing the badge throughout the monitoring period. When the monitoring is completed, remove the badge from the area and record stop time on the white lock seal pouch and on the space indicated on this form. Locate the aluminum foil sticker previously saved, peel off the backing, and use it to seal off the badge. Seal the badge immediately in the clear plastic bag and place inside the white lock seal pouch. Remember to keep the paperwork and badge together. Place the instruction sheet on the outside of the white lock seal pouch and finally return for analysis. On completion of monitoring, it is important to remove the badge from the area, seal it with the aluminum foil provided, as the badges are highly sensitive and will continue to monitor if left exposed. Avoid handling the badge with contaminated hands. Badges must be returned to Toxigas within 24 hours of use via a courier. It is recommended testing be completed between Monday and Wednesday to ensure samples can be sent by courier within the 24-hour time frame. Ensure the staff responsible for shipping and receiving within the hospital are notified the badges must be sent back within 24 hours. This concludes the video on nitrous oxide testing. For more information or if you have any questions, please use the contact information on this screen or on the badge instruction form. Thank you.